Okay, my name is uh, Robert Moritz. I'm playing uh, Baptista Manola, the uh, father of uh, Katerina and Bianca. I am Dickie, uh, Richard David Anthony. Uh, I am playing the tailor and an officer. My name, my name is Maggie Tonra, and I'm playing Biandela. I am Ali Perez, and I am playing a uh, twofer. I am the lusty widow, lusty widow, and Cara. We have a great cast. Everybody is really cool. Everybody's really nice, and just really fun to work with. We've been doing this for a long time, and so having a few months to really be able to look at the script on our own. Um, I think, and then coming to rehearsal, I think we all came to rehearsal with a lot of stuff um, when we finally came together to do the table reading because um, we had had so much time to look through the script, to already get familiar with it. Um, and yeah, so it's been a, it's been a great rehearsal process. Fun. It's a huge cast, my goodness. Um, I haven't been used to working with such a huge cast, but it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. Everybody's bringing really unique characters, really strong supporting cast, which is nice to see. And we're all just trying to have a lot of fun out there. Make Shakespeare fun for you. It's been a, a really interesting, a pretty exciting learning process. Everybody's very talented and dedicated to the show, and uh, I'm learning some basics and some advanced stuff on the fly. So it's been a lot of fun. I'm playing a boy and not getting too wrapped up um, with that and not letting that be something that, that hinders me, but something that helps me. Um, yeah. So playing a boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first show with Classic. And I've done um, four sh five shows in San Antonio. And Three of them were very recent, and I've been growing as an actor for a very long time, especially since, especially since moving back to San Antonio. I've been performing since I was very young, and I'm really, really stoked to be like doing a classic theater production. It makes me really, really happy cause, because, well, it's classic theater of San Antonio. Who doesn't want to be a part of that? It's, it's a little frustrating or embarrassing to admit, you know, that some of the basics I'm not really familiar with. Uh, my previous theater, theater experience, although pretty good, and I've been a lead in a show before, it's just, uh, this theater is a little different than some of the other theaters, and just uh, learning to uh, simple things, you know, movement on stage when other actors are moving, some of that stuff, uh, and uh, paying attention sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Discovered I'm more versatile than I thought I was. I, uh... What have I discovered? Um, I've discovered that if you play two characters in a show, you really have to make sure that you're giving them two different personalities. It's almost like two alleys playing two different characters. So, um, everybody's had to do that a little bit. Everybody did a little bit of multiple, multiple roles. And so, um, it's been fun for me to kind of just explore physically what those differences are. Um, obviously someone who has a lot of money and someone who doesn't. So, those are the two characters I get to kind of play with. And, uh, physically, I'd like to kind of embody two different people. So, let's see if you see that. And I think that I've discovered that if I just keep going back to the text, that is where I will find more things every time. And if I just trust that, that, um, yeah, but that will lead me to the right place. One of the things is I've always enjoyed Shakespeare. Uh, I can't say I have a whole lot of experience with him, but I do uh, enjoy reading and uh, watching what I can. I've uh, been to some festivals. And um, he's so funny. I mean, he's this show, of course, is a comedy, but his comedy, you know, because he was always writing for his patrons, and for just the normal Joes. And there's a lot of really you know, sophisticated wordplay, and then there's also a lot of really crass bass stuff, and it's all a lot of fun, and we have a great time uh, during rehearsals uh, exploring that aspect. 
discovered I'm more versatile than I thought I was. I didn't really think I wasn't versatile, but it's helped me to understand that I am. I think one of the missions of the classic theater is to make these classics approachable. I feel like this is actually probably some of the most approachable Shakespeare that I've seen done in San Antonio. So everybody understands what they're saying, which is a big help, um, and is having a lot of fun making sure that you understand what you're saying. So you don't need a crash course, you don't need Shakespeare 101, you just need to come with zero expectations uh, other than having a lot of fun. Hilarity. It will be funny. People will laugh. People are just going to enjoy this show. It's a really hilarious show. They can expect to laugh a lot. They can expect to have a lot of fun. We are having so much fun on stage and I hope that the audience does too. Uh, we're doing our best to make some of the, the more difficult passages obvious to the casual theater goer. Words of advice about taming of the shrew. Shakespeare, ooh, don't get scared. <laughs> Come with an open mind. Your ear may take a little while to get accustomed to the language, but be patient and just take it in. You're gonna laugh. You're not gonna cry a lot in this one. <laughs> Unless uh, maybe somebody falls on you or something, which could happen. Um, but um, just, I'd just say really be prepared to enjoy yourself and to look at Shakespeare differently. Don't come hungry because there's a lot of fake food on the set uh, and it'll make you very hungry. And uh, just be careful you're sitting in the first few rows because it does get a little physical. And um, just be ready to have fun. I mean, the classic always does such a great job of bringing classics to the stage with a little bit of a twist. So just be ready to be twisted.